All right, guys. So, full power physical Frieza just got his EZA on Global Dokkan. So now he went from already a good unit to even more so of a good unit. He is very, very good for how old uh, physical full power Frieza actually is, right? Now, the only thing is that on Global, unfortunately, he doesn't really have a proper category. Even here on JP, he's got only three categories, right? Now, the first one, the Planet Namek arc category, just does not have a real leader skill yet. There is not a, a proper leader for this team. I do think eventually we probably will, but as of right now, we don't yet have it. Uh, there have been big buffs to this category, by the way. You know, the new uh, Final Form Frieza, the new Kaioken Goku, and the recent Dokkan Fest banners are incredibly good. A physical LR Ginyu is incredibly good. A lot of very solid units being added to that category. So it could be a sustainable, solid team coming up soon, but not quite yet. The full power team. Uh, Frieza is on this. You can get it to work, but there's not really a lot of units that work the best with physical full power Frieza. So I don't really like to use them on that team. But now we have the uh, new STR Super Boo transforming, like an uh, enhanced transformation category team. This place is very, very good for physical full power Frieza and every other Frieza unit that's in the game. All of these Frieza units, cell units, all of them work incredibly good in here. Uh, there's even some other support type units like GT Cell and Tech Cell that you could you know, bring to great effect on this team. And then, of course, the physical Kid Buu, who he is about to get his EZA in only a couple days here on JP. Uh, he's also a monstrous unit. So let's go ahead and hop into an event, testing out the brand new EZA that just came out to Global. But also, this is going to be me seeing how good this Frieza is on this category team uh, for the first time. I've not actually used him. Uh, I haven't used the STR Final Form Frieza. Uh, really, LR First Form Frieza. This is the first time he's on a category that, that will work really well for him, right? So, there's a couple videos I want to make for some units. Um, okay, so I want to get uh, Full Power Frieza, the Transforming Tech Frieza, and Physical Kid Buu on a rotation together. The easiest way... That I'm going to do that is to actually push uh, Full Power Frieza off rotation, uh, I think, the very first uh, time he shows up. So, you know, the curse of a bad starting rotation, what can we do? Uh, this Fat Boo, by the way, very, very strong unit. So, global players, do not baba those copies of this Fat Boo. He is fantastic. He's going to be good for World Tournament play. I think he's going to be good for Super Battle Road. Uh, I didn't have time to make a Super Battle Road video with the Fat Boo this past weekend, but I definitely will make sure to get it done uh, this upcoming weekend. Um, all right, so I really badly want to show Full Power Frieza, but let's wait and let him get on that rotation with Kid Boo and uh, the Transforming Frieza first, though. Let, let, let's do that first. Uh, that'll be the most important thing we can see, you know, how strong our boy Full Power Frieza can actually be. Uh, I think he is going to be a nightmare on this team. He's going to work perfectly. There's a lot of very good support type units on this team that work great for extreme type units, which is going to be very, very easy for him. All right, so, you know, Super Boo, he is able to live around 1 million attack stats. So, I don't know, maybe I'm a bit too hard on him. All the versions of Boo after he transforms are phenomenal. But maybe I, I am just, just a tad too harsh on him uh, before he actually takes his transformation. Um, okay, so I want to make sure, of course, that we are above 80% uh, HP uh, after this upcoming turn right here. Uh, a pretty bad rotation in terms of key and stuff. You know, this is, you know, one of the issues of Kid Buu units is that they always struggle with key. They always struggle with their links. It, it's just, it's how the Kid Buu units are designed, right? Kind of just like Ultimate Gohan. Like, obviously, you know, woo, damn, almost a million right there. Like, see, physical Kid Buu is going to be a problem after his EZA, regardless of what they do with his, uh, like, his restriction. He is going to be very good. Now, eh, you know, I, I was going to use an item just to completely ensure that we would be above uh, 80% HP, but I'm, I'm not going to need to. Yeah, the, the, this team can work pretty well. 
Uh, again, here, here's a bit of an issue. This is one reason why I, you know, again, I'm very hard on the Superboo pre-transformation is rotations like this. Uh, we got pretty lucky with Key right there, but normally, like, he doesn't link up that well with Fat Boo, which is a shame because, again, Fat Boo is one of the better units you could use on this team, I think. Uh, he's going to be very good, you know, providing extra key for any SCR units you might bring. You know, I think, you know, using LR Frieza on the team along with him would work very good. So I think we're going to get the... This is going to be a Buhan transformation right here, right? No, no, no. I, I, I'm... Never mind. <laughs> I, I, one turn away, uh, we're going to start seeing Buhan transformations. Okay. So finally... Oh, you know what? That's right. <laughs> Uh, Universe's most malevolent is the special link for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event, right? We're only looking at his attack stat anyway, but the damage freeze it does is going to be ludicrous OP. So, let's see here. It's important to have, uh, Full Power Frieza in the first slot. It does give him extra defense, which, again, you know, uh, for global players using this guy on Super Battle Road, that will be very helpful. So, let's go ahead and do that right there. Uh, we'll make sure that this Frieza gets a super attack. And uh, I'm pretty sure Full Power Frieza is going to one-shot Bardock right here. Oh, don't... Wait, don't seal him. Okay. Okay, good. Damn! 2.7! Whoa! <laughs> wait a minute. 2.7 is very high. Whoa! Uh, okay. Physical Full Power Frieza is really good on this new category. And again, I'm using Physical Kid Boo, but as you guys can see, we have not even come close to falling below 80% HP on this team. And now we have double Buhan out, which means they are going to be healing like crazy. This team <laughs> is very good. And again, it is going to be very good for any villain type unit, Cell, Super Baby, Janemba, Cooler, all of them are going to be really good on this category. It, I think the team would definitely work a little bit better if, uh, you know, Buhan was more of a support type unit. Like, if they swapped it and made Buhan a support unit instead of Boo Piccolo, like, this team would be, like, three times as good. It would just be disgusting. Because then you'd have, like, you know, that support type passive kind of running through this category left and right. Which would just be so, so helpful. But it's still really good, right? Like, I don't... I really like what they did. Uh, I'm going to be very curious to see, too, uh, if this is another team uh, that would benefit, I think, greatly from an alternative leader. Like, this Super Boo, he will work fine for pretty much, you know, any villain variation of the team. You know, there, there are some ways that it could be a bit better. But he should work pretty solidly with a lot of the different, like, villain kind of formations you'd want to run, right? But, you know, if we could get, like, uh, a leader that would be, I don't know, maybe, like, more traditional with, like, shocking speed the whole way through, that could open up some team building for this team. I, I, that's one of the the biggest things I'm kind of like asking for from Dokkan uh, nowadays is I do want to see other, like some of these categories get alternative leaders. The Hybrid Saiyan category. The Majin Buu art category. Some of these teams could really benefit from it. Okay, so 1.9 right there. 1.9 million. Just a reminder, Frieza does do extra damage in this event. But that's the damage, right? That doesn't actually affect his attack set. So, full power Frieza on this category basically just linked up with, like, uh, you know, the transforming Frieza is getting an attack set at almost 2 million. And then, you know, Kid Buu on the rotation and Frieza basically jumps almost to 3 million. Just a very, very impressive display uh, by physical full power Frieza. Uh, very strong on this team. I am <laughs> quite impressed, actually. I think a lot of units uh, are going to look probably their best on this team. It's just that physical Kid Buu, man. Like, he is going to make... Like, even here's Super Buu right here, 1.6. Like, Kid Buu is going to make a lot of units hit really hard, man. 
I cannot wait for that physical kid boo easy. Hey, bro. It's going to be crazy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yo. Okay. So, uh, again, one of the big things, uh, you keep full power freeze in that first rotation. Uh, he is going to maintain his defense. He's going to be a very viable defensive unit. Now, especially after he supers on Super Battle Road, his defense is good enough, by the way. Uh, especially, you know, linked up with physical full power cooler. Like, that rotation right there is a very powerful 1-2 uh, offensive and defensive combo. Uh, I believe the first time I ever beat the fi uh, extreme physical stage of Super Battle Road, I think it was just after uh, Full Power Freeze that got his EZA. Uh, was massively, massively helpful. Um, okay, so, hmm. Who's going to hit the hardest here? Probably, Gen I think Janemba will probably hit the hardest. Because we're going to get a Dokkan attack right here. Which means uh, it is a guaranteed sort of kill. Yeah, see, Boo, man. Fat Boo is good, but... Uh, if only he was able to link up. If he had fear and faith, uh, that would help out so, so much. Uh, fat, th this is really the first good fat boo uh, in Dokkan, too. Like, you know, we have what? Like, we have the tech boo who is a world tournament reward. I mean, he's, I, I, guess, I guess, he could actually be up for uh, a Dokkan Awakening. Now that I think about it, actually. That tech fat boo, I think tech ultimate Gohan. Those are units who really could get uh, awakenings with this next world tournament on JP. You know, uh, okay, well, at least we're going to get to see Boo Super Attack. But I found that unless I'm sort of optimizing... Oh, we got the sun. Nice. Uh, unless I'm sort of optimizing the team around that Boo, uh, getting his super attacks off consistently uh, is a, a bit of a, like a, a problem. Okay, now this is something I also wanted to show off right here. If Full Power Frieza is in the first slot, you do not need to get uh, 12 key for him to actually super. You only have to get 9 key because he gets 3 key for being in the first slot. So, boom, it jumps up and we can actually get the super attack uh, to go ahead and land right there. So, uh, Full Power Frieza, that's another thing that helps out a lot, uh, especially on Extreme Physical, is because Extreme Physical, um, I've noticed... You know, it is pretty bad with key, right? Like, unless you're using, like, the uh, the physical LR Ginyu Force or you're using the uh, maybe, like, physical GT Cell who's not yet out on global, uh, it, key is going to be an issue on that team. So, uh, that's why, hmm. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Janemba and Super Buu, uh, they do link up pretty damn well. Well, I say Super Buu, but, you know, Buhan. Buhan has very good links, of course. Shocking Speed. Fear and Faith, as well as Big Bad Bosses, uh, helps out a lot. And then, of course, you know, he greatly raises his attack and defense right here. So, uh, Buhan is, like, a solid unit. Like, I I'm definitely not uh, hating on him at all. But, eh, nah, I, I really, I wouldn't even say Buhan needs to be better. Like, like he is, he's fine exactly the way he is. It's just, maybe they could have made the Super Buu, I think, just slightly stronger or even given Super Buu shocking speed, I think would have helped out uh, the enhanced transformation team greatly at that point. Just literally, just literally giving him shocking speed so that he's able to sort of more consistently get super attacks, right? So we'll go ahead and finish up this Harutagon right here, and then we'll probably go ahead and finish it up. I just kind of wanted to show, you know, an opportunity to use the enhanced transformation category team again. And then also show, you know, physical full power freeze on here. Uh, as you guys can see, like, Harutagarn, we're kind of just, like, stalling on Harutagarn. Like, Harutagarn is not capable of doing damage to us, really. Like, even though, you know, I'm using a lot of SCR units here, like, Harutagarn can't hurt us. He, he's just completely uh, irrelevant, not able to do it. So, physical full power Frieza. Very, very good unit. Uh, I would encourage everyone to make sure you go ahead and completely EZA him. Uh, get that done because he's going to be very helpful, very useful for those that want to beat that extreme physical uh, through Battle World stage. And again, he eventually will be very useful in this uh, enhanced transformation category. And if the uh, planet Namek arc like, ever gets a true category leader, he'll be really good on there too. So 
Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch y'all in the next one.